Um, most people don't know this, but there's a brain structure called the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. What's interesting about this brain area is there are now a lot of data showing that when people do something they don't want to do, mm -hmm. like add three hours of exercise per day or per week, or when people who are trying to diet and lose weight resist eating something. Right. When people do anything that they, and this is the important part, that they don't want to do. Right. It's not about adding more work. It's about adding more work that you don't want to do. Yes this brain area gets bigger. Yep. Now here's what's especially interesting about this brain area to me. The anterior mid cingulate cortex is smaller in obese people. Mm -hmm. It gets bigger when they diet. Mm -hmm. It's larger in athletes. Mm -hmm. It's especially large or grows larger in people that see themselves as challenged and overcome some challenge. Right. And in people that live a very long time, mm -hmm. this area keeps its size. In many ways, scientists are starting to think of the anterior mid cingulate cortex not just as one of the seats of willpower, right. but actually the seat of the will to live. And when I learned about the anterior mid cingulate cortex, I was like almost out of my seat. And I've been in the neuroscience game since I was 20. All the data point to the fact that we can build this area up, yep. but that as quickly as we build it up, if we don't continue to invest in things that are hard for us, that we don't want to do, that's the part that feels so Goggin esque. Yes, sir. To me, that we don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Like if you love the ice bath, yeah, I love the ice bath. You go from one minute to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Your anterior mid cingulate cortex did not grow. None. But if you hate the cold water, mm -hmm. if you're afraid of drowning mm -hmm. and you get into water and put your head under, yep. then your anterior mid and survive, then the anterior mid cingulate cortex gets bigger. But if you don't do it the next day, or if you do it the next day and you enjoy it, because mm -hmm. hey, hey, I did it yesterday, woohoo, mm -hmm. the anterior mid cingulate cortex shrinks again. Yep. To me, this is one of the most important discoveries that neuroscience has ever made, mm -hmm. because it's that I don't want to do something, but do it anyway. That's right. That grows this area. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like I have a friend, he's been sober 30 years from alcohol. Mm -hmm. And he always says, you know, the amazing thing about addiction is there's a cure. The problem is it only works one day at a time. Yep. And so you have to renew it every day. That's right. I love that because that's how I've lived my entire life. I don't know anything about that, but people go, man, you have such a strong will. It's something that you build. Like I never forget, I was on a podcast one time and this dude goes, you were blessed with a strong mind. What the hell are you talking about? I was blessed with a strong mind. That's something that you have to develop over years, decades of suffering and going back into the sufferer. A lot of guys don't go, don't, don't want to go back into that water. Don't want to go back into the hard stuff. Maybe not anything, anything hard, anything hard in life. Once you get through it, it's like you become a POW. Like how many POWs you know want to go back to POW camp? None. When something sucks so bad in life, this is on this that we're talking about now. Very few people want to go back. They're happy they graduated. I realized I'm the same way. I don't want to go back. I have to go back. I must go back because that is exactly where all the knowledge of my life exists, was back there and what you're exactly what you're talking about. Well, I, I didn't know anything about this, but how I grew a will was constantly doing these things to now, it's just life. I wake up while it still sucks, it's just life. You don't sit back and like, oh my God, like I have days I don't wanna do it, but I know I'm gonna do it. I know from years of just doing it. So I, that that's, that's beautiful. And this is why I came on here with you today. And I'm, I'm glad that you're talking about this because human beings need to hear this. They need to stop hearing these hacks on this and that. There's no fucking hack, bro. There's no fucking hack. Yeah, you may this and that and saunas and, this, and all this shit that they, yeah, it's great. There is no fucking life hack to grow that thing. How do you grow it? Do it and do it and do it and do it. That's the hack. The hack is going to fucking suck. And that's what I realized. That's what I realized. Life, th that's why I wanted to come on here today. I didn't want to come on here and talk about no fucking passion and purpose and how to get the fuck out of bed and how to hit a fucking alarm clock and all this catchphrase bullshit. Because that wasn't how I lived. That wasn't how I lived. I lived, I woke up like every human being does and goes, fuck, man. I'm a fucking piece of shit today. How the hell is this going to work out for me? And you fight that. And you fight that. You don't override it. There's no override button. It's the conversation in your fucking, like, in your head. So how do you do that? We don't have enough of these conversations about the real conversation that every human being is having. And they have no idea how to get out of it, but they do. It's that shit right there, man. 
You got to build your will. 